Minority Simsport. Welcome racers around the world. This is Minardi Simsport again and today I have the opportunity to present to you another amazing car that hits a racetrack near you today. Of course I'm talking about the Piccino and probably Italian inspired compact car. Uh, not overpowered, not underpowered, but really deep driving dynamics. So the physics on this car in my personal view uh, are fantastic and um, probably one of my favorites to be quite honest with you. I was lucky enough to take the Piccino for a spin earlier today and uh, I'll show you a short six lap race that I did with it so you can see its driving dynamics and hear my thoughts on it. So here we go, the Piccino as I said not overpowered not underpowered but also quite heavy compared to a race car like a feather would, uh, would uh, feel much lighter of course uh, the Piccino's turn radius is not so extreme its acceleration is not extreme it's just overall not an extreme car but that's what makes it so fun to drive um, what you can also see is in corners when you accelerate out of corner the Piccino is really um, compromised in its uh, acceleration curve. Uh, so as long as you're steering, you will accelerate um, slower and you will feel it because it's quite a bit slower. So a smooth racing line is really important um, if you want to go fast with the Piccino. Uh, its heaviness is uh, very good for fighting on track. So in that sense, it's kind of similar to GT cars or the trucks even, uh, as in you can battle uh, with each other without having to be afraid to damage your, your car or your opponent's car. Um, of course it can still happen, but door-to-door uh, -door racing is very much rewarded in this car. Uh, the acceleration curve I mentioned earlier makes the racing here also very exciting because uh, the acceleration curve just goes on for a while. So you'll not hit the uh, uh, top speed uh, within a second or something. Uh, it takes a while. Uh, the super trucks are the, quite the opposite of that. The super trucks, uh, I feel like, have a gear ratio that lets them hit the top speed quite early. Um, the Piccino is the opposite, so the acceleration goes on and on and on. And that's really fun because uh, it rewards smooth driving but it also opens up a lot of uh, overtaking possibilities um, by just uh, one driver taking a, a different line in, in a curve before a long straight for example and just come out with more top speed there and overtake you later on. Uh, the braking also feels a bit softer in this car so uh, that's something that a few players was hoping for that braking uh, gets more important in the game uh, while I do think the braking is perfectly fine, especially since we have to mix arcade with sim racing here, um, I do think uh, it's, it's great so far, but it's, it's really fun in this car. Um, I think you'll go out, take it for a spin and you'll enjoy it just as much as I did, uh, battling from last to first against the Superstar AI here. So um, that's all for me basically, I just wanted to uh, show you how the Piccino drives, give you some insights on what I feel when I drive the Piccino and uh, show you how it looks. Uh, can't wait to see all your liveries out on track and race against you with the Piccino uh, and I hope you had a good time. More videos are coming up soon and uh, I hope you subscribe if you are interested in future content on Circuit Superstars. Give me a like if you appreciated the video, give me a dislike if you didn't and uh, comment if you have any questions. Uh, but that's it for me. So, Minardi Simsport, over and out. Perhaps I was wrong, it started with you. And none of this was personal, that's harder to prove. And now I'll testify that you're exactly who